What is threat hunting? Some organizations have computer networks that have 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 machines and more. Now they're obviously making very heavy investments to try and prevent intrusions. This is called prevention. They're also doing some investments in being able to detect intrusions for which they know the attacks that could be used. That's called detection and response. However, there's a gap. And the gap is that uh, sometimes security controls are not deployed consistently everywhere. Also, security professionals may learn about new attack technique today but that's actually been around for a little while and we would like to know, okay, well, have we been affected by this in the past? And because we didn't know about it, we couldn't defend or detect it. And so you have this niche here called threat hunting. And the job of a threat hunter is to actually run a hypothesis to be able to question whether cyber defenses are working and then collect data on the network and actually be able to confirm or infirm it. So uh, let me give you an example. Let's say that you know uh, a, a, an advisory is published by a government agency that says a particular malware uh, has been used. What the threat hunter can do, is they can go on every computer system that they have visibility over and say, all right, can I find signs of this malware having been used on my network? A new vulnerability may be discovered in an application and made public. A threat hunter may go into the logs of application and say, can I see signs that this vulnerability has been exploited against my systems? A pen tester may find a new vulnerability on the network and maybe, maybe we knew about it, but it was exploited in a new way that we didn't really know about or that's been brought to our attention. Well, a threat hunter may go and hunt for that and say, well, has that actually been used on our network? Also, a threat hunter can design mock-up cyber adversaries. They can say, all right, well, our organization is that we're a retail organization. We're based in the United States. We have a turnover of X. Cyber adversaries, according to industry reports, do these kind of attacks or these kind of techniques. Let's build a, a fictitious profile and then let's hunt for that. And then we ask ourselves, has that allowed us to find cyber adversaries on our network that have evaded and, and bypassed our defenses? And so very much the job of a threat hunter is to provide an organization with assurance that its controls are working. It's also to do investigative work and it's really to challenge as well the way we think about how our network is defended. So that's an overview of what threat hunting is about. If you've liked this video, the next step for you is to register on our online learning platform to learn practical skills that will get you a job in the industry. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.